Hey guys, it's Patina Gal, and we are back over in Planet Zoo, and we're gonna do a bit of a guest area slash viewing area here for our lemurs, and uh, I wanted to start with the building here. So I wanted to try to figure out something to use besides the bamboo, because I figured if we use bamboo, it's going to be just everywhere. And I don't know. I, I do, in, in the end, uh, do that. But I'm not sure if it's too much bamboo or not, but we'll see. So I was looking around for any other thing I could do, and I decided to start with this first. I wanted to do a little area here, uh, kind of like a display area for the food um, that the lemurs would be getting. Obviously, it wouldn't be real food just sitting out there in the sun all day, but <laughs> I thought it would look kind of cool. So I went ahead and tried to find some kind of um, tray, I think trays or containers for the food here and just kind of sink them down into the uh, flooring here. I think this is like the the floor or flat roof, I don't remember, something like that, and I had some time trying to figure out what to do uh, as far as the fruit, and uh, obviously trying to get it to not stick out was kind of a, a little bit of an issue, but we got it in the end, I think it works out, I did decide to do a different uh, container for some of these, and I was looking for the boxes, and so I do end up doing those, uh, as well as these little uh, bowls here. At least they look like bowls in the end. Um, and then I went ahead and put these sacks here, too. I really like these little prop things. They look pretty cool and, um, you know, realistic. But I do uh, try to fit those in where it looks like they're kind of stuffed in there and I think it looks okay unless you look really close maybe you could see a hole or something but I go ahead and find the boxes I was looking for these are the um, produce boxes I was thinking of and this actually has bananas on it I think I think those are what they are so that's kind of cool but I didn't notice that before so uh, I wasn't sure whether to put a sign above here or not. Um, in the end, I just decided to put a sign on the building. But um, but I think this looks pretty neat. Just to have some kind of a display or representation of their their diet and what we what you would feed them. Which, I don't know. I, I think you would feed them these. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah. So, just trying to make sure the bananas aren't, like, sticking out of the bottom. But... It looks pretty neat, I think, um, and like I said, it wouldn't be real food just sitting out here in the sun, so it'd be, be kind of like a, literally a display, so it would be fake fruit, just so people can see what they get, and I went ahead, I don't remember to do this very often, is to change the color of the windows, um, the windows and doors can be changed to uh, any color you want, which is pretty cool. And uh, here we go with the bamboo. I can't decide on his size. This looks kind of a little too big, but um, I I don't want to stick with anything too big. And I was trying to figure out something that was recolorable, but I went ahead with this. I wanted to do a little thing inside the window here and uh, just kind of have the... Um, the little spaces there that you can see kind of covered up and uh, it, it works out pretty good I think I didn't look to see if you can see I don't think you would be able to see any of this inside the building so just a little covering up there I think it works out and uh, just to try to really cover up that um, back side of the, uh, the the building there and uh, I went ahead and deleted this and in the end. I tried to see if it would look okay just kind of hanging out here on the ground. But, you know, I, I tried. It, it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. Uh, so go ahead and look for some nature stuff to put on the ground. Because, you know, nature stuff helps out, you know, with anything. It kind of brings it to life. And... 
even if you don't like what you're building, uh, if you add trees and rocks and grass and stuff like that, it just looks so much better. I don't know how that helps so much, but it does. So go ahead and put some more trees over on this side. And I look at maybe putting some rocks, but with the with the ground the way it is, the the moss covered rocks just seem a little weird. I don't know. So I decided to put these uh, hanging vines up here. I don't know if it totally makes sense, but I thought it would look pretty good. So I go ahead and put this around, and then I will uh, probably just cut and uh, get the rest of it done. Because it's really hard to tell if this is in the right spot or not. So I do a lot of moving around to try to get it to look right. And uh, so I will cut right here and show you the final product. So this is what we ended up with here. I did a lot of um, turning things around and as you can see, I kept some of this in just so you, you could see this. I went ahead and put them in a group and then you can just select what you need and uh, move those around as well. But like I said, they're really hard to uh, get lined up the right way. It's just a little difficult to tell um, where they end up. So I wanted to make sure they weren't in the building over there. But that is what we ended with that. And then I decided to put somewhat of a gate or a door here. I don't know if it looks exactly like a gate or a door because I don't end up using this. Um, and I, I, I think this would have worked out, just kind of had it like that. But it's a little too big. Um, so I went ahead and used these little... Um, I don't know what they're called, uh, these little walls here, just to bring out a little bit of something here to make it look like it would go down and cover up this door or this uh, opening. And I think it works out. It's It may not be exactly, you know, a door-looking thing, but it's okay. Everything's fine, right? <laughs> we'll be good. So... I had a hard time trying to select this because there's too much stuff around here, but I went ahead and tried to figure out a color for it. You guys know me and finding out colors for things. Not the easiest, but I did it in the end, and um, the lemurs are still able to get through it, so that's good. I was afraid that it would um, be too uh, obtrusive, I guess, in their a traversable area but it works out and <laughs> a super hard time selecting all of this stuff is crazy but we got it it works and then I'll go ahead and copy that over to this one as well and I think I don't think I do it on camera but I also do the other one over there on the um, right hand side just to make it look like all of this could be covered up um, covered up and closed if they needed to close it for anything and I think it works out I like it and here we go with some uh, more of the the kind of decals or decorations and I was looking for the lemur signs fortunately they only have two which seems a bit weird but um, it's okay it'll work so I tried to put these on top of here kind of looking like they're um you know a landing or sitting on these um I decided to go for some of the vines as well just to really make it look like they're standing on something because here it just looks like they're hovering over the little uh, doorway there but um, I do a lot of trying to figure out what colors to use and all that, so I probably will cut that out and just uh, show you guys the final product there. But try to make it look like these guys are, you know, standing on here or uh, climbing on here. So I went ahead and moved it around a little bit, and I think it gives a pretty good, um, pretty good idea of them moving around on this. And I will cut out all of the color choices and all of that. So here we are with some more of the uh, decals and stuff here on the other side. 
where war just uh, just so we can take some of this um building and make it not so empty and you can see i added a bunch of bamboo i thought i put that in a video but apparently i did not but um i did do the bamboo around the windows and all of that just to give it a little bit more um detail and texture and stuff like that and here we start with the nature stuff you guys know me i love working with the nature stuff it just like i said it adds life to it and if you're not liking what you're coming up with, just wait until you put all of this other detail in and you may actually end up liking it. You never know. But if you don't, you can just start over, right? <laughs> it works. So go ahead and put in a bunch of different things. I try to keep with the Africa theme. You can see I have Africa and tropical in the filter there just so I have those two and I haven't really looked at the lemurs as far as if they like all of the because this is technically inside their habitat um so I haven't checked to see if they totally like all this stuff but I know it doesn't really matter too much because um as long as everything else is good the like and dislike of the uh nature here isn't super uh, important just because everything else is good so that works out and I was trying to figure out something to put like lower down that I could put around this and not um, impede on the view but I couldn't figure out what to do until I find the drain grass later I'm like oh that's what's missing because yeah I love the drain grass I think I mentioned it later <laughs> when I uh, come back from the speed build, but you guys are okay with that, right? Um, so I just try to find some different shapes, and here I go back to like a different color, because I, like I said, I don't think the green mossy rock really goes with this uh, deserty floor here, so I don't use it too much. Um, so I did cover, I covered it up at first, and I thought, that's still not great. I'm, I'm just going to get rid of it. So that's what I did. <laughs> but here I decided to, because I was working with this rock, and all of a sudden I realized that might be a good thing to put along this uh, exterior here, um, just to act as kind of a barrier. And uh, I think it works out pretty good. I decided, because I started with this flat, you know, one, and then I decided to kind of have them uh, kind of step up here and go just around this this back part. Um, I don't put it all the way across, uh, all the way around because uh, right now we don't need it. Maybe once we put more animals in, maybe we'll put that. Um, or I'm I don't know. I'm thinking of maybe starting a uh, new zoo and having just the uh, Europe animals in i'm not sure we'll see let me know what you guys think would you like to see more of this uh franchise or maybe a uh one build at a time you know just having a habitat build series let me know what you think about that and because I, I definitely want to go and do builds for the new animals or the newest animals they're not new now but <laughs> I'm kind of slow at this stuff anymore, but as you can see, I do try to keep the plants where I have a couple of them, just so they're, they look a little bit more full than um, just the basic plant. I think I like that a lot better. And here I do a webcam, and I thought you could link these, but um, I can't figure out how to besides just going and uh, kind of uploading your own video of the webcam footage and then putting it on the billboards. So, because that's what I started to try to do here, but in the end I just used regular uh, billboard size. So here I decide to switch over to just the regular Habitat education boards. And I started with just one and I decided that would be kind of a cool one to have like the three um <laughs> i look at that and like wow that's a interesting lemur okay 
But uh, the only problem with this is trying to get it straight. I still don't know if it's straight, but just go ahead and uh, move that up and try to copy the same billboard uh, up and down and just get the whole thing. I know we don't technically have a bracket for the top one, so that might not make a huge amount of sense, but I think it works out. So go ahead and make these into a uh, group so we can move them around uh, eat more easier than just having them all four separate pieces. And I went ahead and did this ground a little bit different. Um, I kind of wish, I probably should have made it all the grassy area instead. Of, I tried to use soil out here, but then it's, uh, when I zoom in, I realize it's really uh, cracked ground, and I really don't like the texture of it, but, you know, it's okay. So here I'm trying to figure out some trees to put a sign in between, um, and I really like these little, uh, I think they're oil palms, and uh, they work out pretty good. So I just wanted to make sure they were rotated a bit so they weren't super similar. And I thought about taking this vine, but I decided to just take this instead. Uh, I maybe should have done something a little bit um, more uh, bigger than around than this because it's not quite as sturdy looking as I would like, but it works out. So I'm just trying to get it to line up right when I move it over to the other tree and um, I do cut out quite a bit of this stuff because there's a lot of movement with the camera and uh, I just decided to cut out a lot of it. Uh, here is just the top and bottom of the sign and I wanted to, I, I decided just to move the trees. I figured that would be a little bit easier than trying to move the, um, the beams, I'm going to call them. I don't think they're called beams, but um, so now we're going for the lettering and that is way too big. So we go for, this is even bigger, I think. <laughs> I don't know how that works. I thought the biggest one was on the bottom, but I go ahead and hit X so it's there and then I can just, um, go through the letters that way. But of course, right after we do that, we find the one that we want. So it works, but I wanted to make them a little bit crooked just because I just think it adds more life to it um, instead of being super straight. So go ahead and do that. And then we'll, um, I think I make it a group, pretty sure. And I wanted to move it over because it's way, you know, off center there. Just trying to center it between the trees and the path. It's kind of uh, centered on the path, I think. But it's a little bit hard to tell sometimes, but you know, we got it. And I decided to make some of them a different color just because, you know, again, add some more life to it and uh, make it look a little bit more exciting. But I didn't know what to do for the back of the sign because I thought maybe it needed a back, like a solid back. So we can make um, the sign on the other side as well saying lemurs. Um... But in the end, I decided to go with not having these uh, behind the letters because I thought that made it look a little less um, readable, I guess. But uh, I started with it and I was like, man, that's a lot of lines. <laughs> so I decided to take those lines out, but I do change this a little bit, make it a little bit lighter so it kind of stands out a bit more. Um, again, it probably would look better with thicker letters, but I think lo this looks pretty good. And I messed around with these, but in the end I, I end up taking them off because they don't work with what I'm about to put, put on there. But here I'm deleting these in the back so I can just move what I have around and see if I can get it, uh, more lined up to these outside letters. I'm just going to have them stop at these and then the inside will be clear and uh, I, I do end up putting a backing on it. But I think it looks pretty good and I do just do a lot of uh, copying the, 
the things over and moving them around. And again, I don't put a lot of that in here just because there's a lot of uh, movement with the camera and uh, it's, you know, it would make you dizzy if you saw it all, all um, that I did. Cause you do see quite a bit of movement here. I tried to kind of have it a little bit minimized, but you know, can only do so much, right? <laughs> so here I realized I put them a little bit awkward there. So I moved that back in. We have to split this one from the group so we can get it to fit right, but we get it done. And I probably will have to go back and, and uh, fix some things because of the cross fighting because I definitely didn't want to do that on the video. And so here we're just copying this around to use it on the other side. And then we have to mess with the little beams again. Um, I don't notice, but this one's a little off center. Uh, so I do eventually move it over. But here I'm just trying to find something for the top. I think this looks kind of cool. So I make this little, uh, I don't know if you'd call it a roof on top of here, but I make this little thing here. And um, it looks pretty neat. It, it kind of has a weird space underneath it. But yeah, as you can see, I took those, uh, those signs out because they just didn't work once you put this kind of roof thing on top. But I think it works out. Um, it, one of those pieces looks a little bit weird, but I can't do, I can't angle it you know, the way that I would like, cause it doesn't, it only works on the one angle, which, or one axis, which is kind of crazy, but it's okay. So here we just are going to copy this over. This is a whole group. So what I did is just delete these back pieces. And then you have the, um, little, uh, beams. I was trying to find, figure out what that said. It's too small for me to read right now, but we got that done and everything's good. So here I'm just trying to find a sign here to put for the food. Um, I could put, I made it say food time, but I could put feed time. Maybe, I don't know. Let me know what you guys, uh, what you guys would call this little area because I wanted this to be an area where you could see in and see the keepers taking care of the food for the lemurs. And, um, I kind of like that as a uh, zoo, you know, they would let people see kind of the behind the scenes stuff. And I think that's awesome. I like when you can see behind the scenes and uh, really makes you feel more immersed into the zoo, I think. But here we go ahead and look for the benches to put. And I decided to put it in the middle. I wanted something in the middle here. I tried to take out the middle of the path and then um, make it like that. But I didn't like that very much. It just looked a little too much because these tiles are really big uh, for the path. So when I took it out, it was like a really big space and I didn't quite like it that much. So I started with this um, and I put the roof here. It's just a little thatch roof that I decided to put here. And I put four together and tried to use it that way, but it just seemed too big and like I would have to add, I don't know, plants or something between the uh, benches here. And I just, I wasn't sure about doing that. So I do this little um, bit where I figure out a color for all of these. Cause you know, me and color trying to figure that out is crazy, but I went ahead and moved these. I kind of wish you could just select the benches like anything else and just use X to move them over, but you can't. So I went ahead and made this just one wide. Um, I think it looks better that way. I don't know if you can get as much like coverage that way, but I think it works out. And then I decided to add, I was going for, you know, the little aqua color that I've been using, but I kind of like the darker green. So I went ahead and changed the colors for the trash cans as well, because I thought they didn't quite fit in. Um, with the blue anymore. That was more for the Africa area or the, the other Africa area, I should say. But I went ahead and copied this over and then copied these two over to the other side. And you have this 
um, little area, which is pretty neat. And I added this vine. We have it over on the wall over there on the left. Um, and I decided to use it here as well, just to have something, some kind of a decoration, um, kind of hanging down from this, this roof area. And again, it's a lot of trying to move around and see what angle works best, but I think we got it. I think it's pretty good. And, uh, I went ahead and used two. So I used this one and I wasn't sure if it was going to fit right. Uh, it does overlap a little bit, but I think it's okay. I think it works out. So I just put that on the other side as well. And I do have to move over some things. Um, I don't know if I show a lot of it, but mainly because just the camera movement. I try to minimize that as much as I can for you guys. And then I wanted to put some speakers. So I went ahead and put one on top of this uh, cover here. I thought that would be kind of cool. Just to have it here. Of course, you can only have, um, you can't have any overlap. And I do the trick where you delete and then select what you need and then undo just to get the thing selected that you need. And I think it works out. I, I really like that trick. I, once I figured it out, I'm like, oh my goodness, I got to remember that one. But then I go ahead and um, copy that over to another couple of spots and just add the red rough lemur and the ringtail lemur uh, information. And I could put them over on the other sides as well, but I just leave them over here for now and try to make sure they don't overlap. But here I went ahead and added the rock just to uh, make it look like this is actually sitting on something. And I'm, I could probably do that on the other one as well. I don't think I did, but this is where I added the drain grass because I love drain grass. <laughs> it is awesome. So I put this um, along a lot of the ground just to kind of cover up. You see how it's all cracked looking? I don't like that. So I'll go ahead and cover that up. And we're going to see the end of the um, shed right now. So let's go ahead and get this thing set up. Okay, guys. So I think this is where we're going to call it for this one. And I may do some other little landscaping and stuff like that. Uh, maybe do a live stream for that. But yeah, so this is what we got to. And uh, I am really liking it. I, I think this needs to be over to the right a little bit more. But um, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. So <laughs> we got a little um, food area over here. Uh, this is just kind of like a display area just to show what, um, what they have to eat. And, um, yeah, I wanted to put this little sign here, um, just to kind of tie into why you can see through to this building. Um, I, I like it. I really wanted to, I should have put it a little closer to the path, but I, I think it's good and we'll get out of that. <laughs> and, uh, we got some lights up here and I tried to make it, um, a little less bright just so we're not like interfering with the animals inside. But yeah, so I am really liking this whole thing. Oh, I didn't do the, um, I didn't change these out for the new things. I just put the new stuff over here. So I may change that out. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If you like it like that or, uh, we should change it. And, um, yeah, so we got out here, uh, I just put a lot of this drain grass around. Um, I didn't really like the look of the, uh, I put soil here and it's like cracked soil. I, I don't really like that. So I did want to hide that the best we can. I keep going into there. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this habitat. I really, um, I really had a interesting time trying to, uh, come up with the, um, the building, you know, the theme and all of that, but I think it's a looking nice. And I just wanted to add the lemur signs over here. And, um, I think it works out pretty cool. So these air over here were supposed to be like, um, kind of like gates that come down to close these, this off, um, at night. And when they don't want, uh, or during, you know, bad weather or anything like that. And I think it looks pretty good. And they can still get through here. I checked the, um, although I don't know why that one's in the box. Let's go ahead and 
unpause that. Um, let's let's make sure before I say that. <laughs> I did check, I promise. But we'll we'll unbox. I'll just do unbox all just in case there's more. Oh. Okay. So um I kind of like this this sign here with the little uh palm tree things, isn't that? Yeah. The African oil palm, that's pretty cool looking. And then our little um area here where you can sit down and uh, I think it turned out pretty good. I didn't want it to be super huge. So at first I started with like this being too wide up here and it just seemed a little too, too big. Um, the only thing is people walking through this, but I want them to be able to come here and sit down and take a break. And, uh, as you can see, they're kind of covered, but not quite. <laughs> So I guess it just depends on where the sun's at, right? So, uh, yeah, I just want to thank you guys for watching. And um, let me know if you have something you would add to this. Or I guess I could technically put, like, a cooler under here. Um, that may be what I do. That might be good. Uh, just so people stop waving their hands around and sighing and all that. I, I, I don't like that. I really don't. But, you know, it's what you get. So, <laughs> I think these lemurs are happy with uh, their habitat here. And we see a red rough lemur coming through here. Awesome. I love that they use all the stuff that we built. That is super cool. And, um, yeah. Like I said, I may add some stuff to this here and there, but... Um, I wanted to add this little kind of a rock wall here, just a little bit more privacy um, from the people looking off. I, don't, I think they'll try to look through here. I don't know. It's kind of far away, but, but yeah. So till next time again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have definitely hit that thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel or haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell to get notified of videos as they come out. And if you want to play this game or check out any of my social media or Patreon links, they're all down below in the description. Check those out and come over and have some fun over there. And um, if you have any questions, comments, tips, anything like that, leave those down below in the comment section. Love seeing those and we'll get back with you as soon as I can. And... Yeah, I think that is it. So I will see you next time and we will probably do the white rhino habitat. I think that's the last that's the last animal in the Africa um, uh, DLC. So I'll put those guys here. And um, yeah, so that's the plan for next time. Um, or maybe I do a non-building episode and then that. I don't know. Let me know what you guys like. If you guys like to see kind of management episodes or if you just like to see the building stuff. And yeah, till then, I uh, will see you later. Bye, guys. <laughs>